hey everybody what do i'm gonna be starting a new series on this channel where i'm gonna be helping people who are new to competitive smash or are not new but really want to step their game up because they feel like okay this is the game right here that i'm gonna take seriously i'm gonna make a name for myself i'm gonna be on the youtube i'm gonna be on twitter everybody gonna be freaking talking about me they gonna know my name out here they gonna know right so this is the video is to help you step your game up and become really good and skilled player now i know there's a whole bunch of video by these high level top known players that you guys love and they have a whole bunch of toys that's cool no, but the way i'm gonna have my videos here they're gonna be structured from the low level and working your way up to the advanced champion expert level you know what i'm saying and I'm even gonna tell you stuff that top players don't even tell you. And the stuff that I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be thinking about it and be like, oh snap, he's actually right. And the mentality is gonna make things a lot easier. You're gonna understand more, you won't struggle as much. You'll have more fun labbing, you'll have more fun losing. That's why right. even losing you'll be having a blast. Don't worry, don't don't even focus on winning right now, right? Don't. <clears throat> don't focus on winning. I don't care if you find a freaking cocky arrogant opponent and he beats you and then he he wants to talk to you he's hostile he wants to feel good about himself look don't, don't matter all right because when you're trying to win you're not going to focus on the stuff that you're weak at because in fear of losing all right you play to learn not to win once you get better and got everything down you go back to that cocky person and then you whip his ass like five ten times and shit and i bet you he won't be talking all that hot shit he was before you step the game up. I bet you he won't. I bet you he won't. So, with that said, we're going to get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do, right, is you got to figure out what character you want to play. All right, who you going to main. Now, I know that the game just came out, and the game with all these characters is hyped as fuck. All right, I know. But you can't be like, okay, so Mario, he, he he's my main. But then I got DDD, he's my 5th main, and then I got Throne, he's my 17th main, but then Robin, he's my 2nd, no, 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 you cannot do that, you cannot do that, if you really want to take it seriously, you want to have a solid character down, you gotta pick one character, and you gotta play them 80% of the time, I say 80 because the other 20%, you probably want to take a break, right, you want to take a break, have some fun, that's cool man, video games are all about fun, but after that, when you want to get get back to serious mode and have a solid character that one character you gotta pick 80% of the time and throughout all the matches this is how you get better this is how consistency builds up and this is how you learn matches quick man so let's say for instance okay I just picked up the game them all these freaky characters yo who who, who I want who I want mm. who I want well I am a big fan of Say you're a fan of Fire Emblem, right? Mark, right? Cool. Mark, pick your color. Alright, boom. The moment you decide that you want to play Mark, stick with him. Now, after you play the character, you kind of feel like, okay, he doesn't feel right to me, man. Like, I don't like his play style. Like, for me to win and really take advantage of the way the character is, like, his play style is just not for me. Then you'll be like, alright, forget Mark and pick somebody else, right? But let's say you like how he plays and you really want to go serious with Mark. First thing you do, you go training mode. You learn the range of your attack. This is this first thing you gotta do. Learn the range of your attack because spacing is important. All right. When you space your attack, it makes it hard for your opponent to punish you. And I did not know that Mars jab sucks the opponent in. See, it sucks him in. What the? F okay. Anyway. Yeah, back to, to back to the point here. So, look at the attack. See how fast they come out, right? Just like I don't know, visual cue to speed. But you actually want to know, and you want to take your learning character experience to a whole nother level. You can do this. Okay, frame, frame, hit jab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm not close, but if you hit the opponent, right, we do this here. Let's get a bit closer. One, two, three, four. 
like four frames I'm pretty sure that's not accurate but it's around there four or five frames Jack comes out okay normal speed of your attacks is good right normal speed of your attacks is good um, but that's more of the advanced stuff when it comes to frame data. I'm kind of getting a bit ahead of myself. I do apologize for that. Right now, we're going to keep it simple. Right? So, know the range of your attacks. Be like, okay, if I stand here, okay, I can hit DK. Okay, cool. Down tilt, let's see the range. Uh, okay, no, gotta be closer. Closer than that, like right here. Okay, that's good. Alright? And you can also use these lines here as well. Like put the computer, let's say put DK at number five, and then you use the um the measurements in the background to kind of determine the distance. Be like if I stand here, can I hit DK? See at number five? Yep, I can. So now you know the distance. If DK is standing at number five and you're standing here, poke him. And you know you're good. But that's the first thing we want to do. Learn how the moves work, and after you swing, block. This tells you how much, pretty much get an idea of when the move ends. Because the moment you block, that's when it ends. That lets you know you can do something else. Okay, lets you know how laggy it is. The cooldown time. This is what you do. Okay, as you can see, so like, if you were to do an up smash right here, and you miss and the opponent's right there they can pretty much punish you all right down smash two if you miss it, it pretty much gives you a general idea of how fast you can uh, move out of an action and in case you whiff how long it takes so it pretty much lets you know like how unsafe something is on whiff like if I whiff a jab here, I'm okay. Cause see, after the jab, I can like block. So if I do that, and I can move out the way. But if I do this from right here, yeah, DK, he he's gonna blow me up. All right. So learn how your move works. Uh, excuse me. Learn how your moves work. All right. Test them out. Hit. See how much hit stone they got. What not? You know, test all that. The range. Spacing, spacing is important. Marv, he's a spacing character. So anybody that wants to learn spacing or likes to space, you know, keep the opponent at a distance, but you know, not using a projectile, just pressure. Marv, he's definitely one of those characters for that. Because he does more damage when he hits at the edge of his sword. Okay? So boom, you went through all of Marv's moves and you know, um, the, car the recovery time, all that now the next thing you want to do is you need to learn how to move okay because this is this is what people are doing right now that is bad and it's probably it's probably freaking biting them in the ass against a really skilled opponent this is what people are doing so let me reset the CPU to this all right, after they learn the, the moves and whatnot, people people are just doing this. So let's say I play Marv, right? Yeah, hold on. People are doing this. Okay. Marv is weird. But long story short, because I can't show the example with this character against this. Player. Basically, people, they want for combos, right? Oh, I got a perp. Man, what am I thinking? I got a perfect character for this example. <laughs> you! I got a perfect character for this example. To make a point. But this is what people are doing right now, right? The same with Peach and Daisy. This is what people are doing. Oops. Where are you? Oh, I could just reset. Keep forgetting about that. Okay, this is what people are doing. No. Okay, you see, you see the combo? They're doing that. Okay, going for the the, the fancy stuff. 
So basically the point that I'm trying to make is people they will learn combos with characters and then after that, boom, they'll go right and start fighting people. Like they and then when they fight people, they have they don't try to bait, they don't try to adapt to the opponent, nothing. They're just forcing combo. They're doing the same thing over and over and over. That is not good. That is not good. They're focused on combos. They're not focusing on what I'm about to discuss right now, which is movement. You need to learn how to move. When you learn how to move, you're hard to hit. You bait openings, and then you can go for the freaking combos, okay? A lot of people, they pick the game. They pick a character. They go in training mode. They learn a few combos, and then after that, they just go and freaking fight people, all right? You can't do that. You need to learn how to move. So after you get comfortable with... Mark's move set for this example here. Learn how to move. See what the dash sense is. Okay, cool. Uh, you see that this is range. This is where you can dance. So like you're good. So the opponent will try to come at me, move out the way, and then go for a hit. Move out the way, go. Right? You need to learn how to be hard to hit. This is not learning how to be hard to hit. Too many people do this. Okay? They do this, and then they panic. This no, no, okay? That's as beginner stuff. That's like low level stuff. Now, if you're a low level player and this first competitive Smash game, it's all cool, all right? We gonna get you off this, yo. After I'm done with this series, you're not gonna be doing this shit no more, okay? But this is not being hard to hit because this is freaking predictable, all right? If you've seen some of my videos, when somebody is near me, they mess an attack up and they try to roll away. You see me chasing with a grab or a dash attack. That's why it's too predictable. People do this so much. Okay, you need to learn how to move. All right, once you got this down, there's something called micro spacing, which is basically you're dancing around your opponent's attack range, but there's no need for you to block because if they were to swing, they wouldn't hit you. And then if they swing, boom. Oops. They swing, move out the way, go for an attack, okay? So you need to learn how to move. Basically, every character in this game has this type of move, right? This is how you base stuff, all right? Learn how to move. Get used to the dash dancing with Marth, in this case, for this example. And I'm already used to it, so, all right? So we learn the, the attacks. We learn how to move. Now... You, you feel comfortable with the movement, right? You feel comfortable with, you know, the, the jump speed, short hop, full hop, doing the aerials. Okay, practice short hop aerials too. This is good, practice that. Practice that. Okay, now you mix everything up all together, right? So, let's say, Draw a few attacks here and there, and then you move. One, two, move. The reason for this is because when you hit somebody's shield, they'll either be doing this, or they'll do this, right? So if I hit DK shield, let's say I just hit it, you know, th theoretically speaking, I hit DK shield, boom, I hit it. And he might either do this, or he might roll behind me. So let's say he rolled behind me just now, right? He rolled behind me and I'm doing this. Because I hit his shield with a fair, and then I try to jab. So now I'm left open, and DK, he can just punish me. He can just grab me or something like that. All right. So you need to hit the shield once and then move. Once, twice at, at most. So let's say I hit the shield, I do fair, down tilt, move. Okay? Do not... Hit the shield, and then when something fails, you do this or this. Okay? No, you gotta learn how to keep pressure. Okay? We're, we're gonna talk more about that uh, in, in the future video. But right now, right now, we're talking about learning the character. But this is just something for you guys to keep in mind when you're trying to learn a character and whatnot. Okay? Hit the shield once, twice at most. Okay? To see what the opponent does. If you see your opponent like he's trying to grab you or mash, then you poke him. Okay? If he's not, if he's respecting you, or every time you hit a shield with an aerial attack or one attack and he does this, or tries to get behind you, no, you gotta give it the hit. Keep it up. 
Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. See what I mean? You gotta do that. So you have the idea, like you can literally be in training mode and put yourself in mental situation like I'm doing right now. So I'll put myself in a mental situation as an example. Let's say I fair my opponent's shield and I think they're gonna slice that. So what would I do? Grab. Or Sasta, got it. Okay, look, this is just I'm practicing this in training mode. It's, it's not the, it's just not human. It's just somebody standing there, uh, a CPU. But yeah, I'm putting myself in a mental situation to gain that mentality, that good mental habit. So when I fight somebody, I already had that thought process programmed. Like you're installing that thought process into your brain already without even fighting people. All right. So, let, now for instance, let's say the opponent will probably roll back. So what would, what would I do if the opponent rolls back? So I would chase it. Chase it. Or, oh, that's supposed to be a tilt. There you go. Okay. Or, grab them. Well, the other way, but you get the idea. All right. So keep 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 this in mind. All right. Do not focus on combos and all the text and the gimmicks and all that stuff and just go for that. No, you need to learn how to move. You need to learn how to be observant. Look at patterns and how to catch them again. And in future videos, we're going to be covering that right now. This is basically learning the character. So you learn the character, okay? You know how his moves work. Um, the movement. Now you gotta decide what can you do after you get a hit, all right? And this is where the, the, the combos come in. All right, uh, CP damage, okay. So let's say I hit him with a fair. Okay, that's the distance. What can I do next, okay? Uh, I can fair to down tilt, cool. Now, after I fair the down tilt, this is the distance that we have. So, what can I do next to keep the pressure? Um, well, in case the opponent will try to, I don't know, mash a button, or like side step and throw some random attack out, then after that, I will do this. And then come in with that maybe. Just to see, you know what I mean? Again, that's all part of movement. I hit him like twice, and I can't get any more hits, so I didn't try to overextend. Okay, two down tilts, that's all I'm getting. So after the two down tilts, I want to keep the pressure. I don't want to give him some more space. At the same time, I need to see what he does. So, he jump back and then, you know, go for a little mix up. Or jump back and then run again. So, something like this. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Okay. Oops, no. I forgot. It's one. See? Like, just making stuff up. Like, getting the mental habit of, okay, after I do that, I can't get any more hits. If my opponent see me running towards them, they think I'm gonna attack. So I gotta see how they react first. So, there you go. So, just play around with the moves at certain percentage. See what, see what links, what doesn't. Okay. Then once you got, once you're used to all of that, Boom. You feel comfortable with the character. You know the spacing of the moves. All right? You know the spacing of everything. Got the movement, the attacks, the spacing. You know how long it takes for something to, to, to finish the animation before you can do something else. Um, you know what's safe, what's not. After that, you feel comfortable. Then you can fight people, all right? fight people and you would do a lot better instead of picking up a character going to training mode only focusing on the combos and then going out there and playing people online and and just fighting all right and you, you'll be all right you'll, you'll, you'll literally be all right just just 
keep everything that I said in this video in mind. Now, before I end this video, I just want to say a few things. One, the heck with a tier list, okay? The, the heck with a tier list. I don't care what these high level players or whatnot, this tier list that they're making, it doesn't mean anything to me, okay? It doesn't mean anything. The game is still young. People are probably still playing these characters and they didn't unlock their full potential. Because once that happens, I bet you people are going to have different opinions. They're saying that a character is OP, but after a while, they're going to be like, the character sucks. Perfect example, Smash 4, when Cloud was first announced in the trailer, everybody was like, oh my god, it's freaking Cloud. Yo, he going to be OP. That character going to be broken. It's over. Cloud came out. A few days later, yo, Cloud sucks. Oh my God, he can't recover. He's like a little Mac with a sword. He is not good. And then somebody does work with Cloud in tournament. Oh my God, yo, Cloud, he is cheap. The freaking up airs, resident sleeper. Oh my God, the limit break. Oh, yo, he needs to be nerfed. Such a boring character. You see Cloud all the time. He's easy mode, blah, blah. You see what I'm saying? Like, people gonna do that. And it's happening right now with freaking Smash 5. That's a tier list. Don't let that cloud your judgment of who you wanna play, who's good, who's bad. The, the hell with a tier list, right? The hell with that. Second thing, don't complain about freaking characters or, or moves. All right, cause that's not gonna do nothing. All right, it, it, it's your fault. If you're getting hit with something, it's your fault. Like for instance, people are complaining about the Inkling freaking roller. That's still fine freaking crazy to me. That move is slow. A lot of things can beat it out. You can shield grab the damn thing, if, if anything. People are just saying that it's broken because if you get buried at high percent, it's a free kill. But they're ignoring the, the flaws, the many flaws that it freaking has. Just because of that one thing, it makes the move broken. No, stop it. If you're getting hit, you're getting buried, and you're dying, you deserve it. Alright? So don't complain about moves. Don't complain about characters. Take responsibility for your losses and learn. If you get hit, learn why. If you're struggling, learn why and fix it. Alright? Because the complaining is not going to do anything. It's not. I, I need to get that because you really need to have a good mentality if you want to get good at the game and complaining and johnning just so you can feel good about yourself for freaking losing it's not gonna do anything if you can't accept the loss you can't accept the W alright if you're not ready to lose you ain't ready to win and with that said we gonna end the video keep it mm, sharp simple alright this is just basically learning character picking it up the next thing I want, I'm going to cover in the next video, is habits. Because people, they have a lot of habits when they start playing the game. And when you guys see me fight people, you see me punish these habits, such as always oh, wanting to roll. Um, after you hit them, they want to double jump. I just bait it out and then I punish them. Alright, so I'm going to help you guys in the next video. Get off these habits, how to train yourself to get off these habits, and get good ones. Good habits all right so hopefully you, you guys will be looking forward hopefully this video right here helped you um yeah i think that's all i got to say right there so thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers i got through my recent videos as well as my veteran subscribers all you guys put together are freaking savages and i'll see y'all next time deuces